Hi, I'm here to talk to you today about how I use colors and rainbows almost every day in my scientific research. So you might know from my last video that your eyes are really good at seeing color. However, in my job, I get to use these super accurate machines called spectrometers, and they can detect all of the colors even better than our eyes. Spectrometers work by splitting light into all of its different energies, all of the colors of the rainbow, and shining this light onto and into different materials, one color at a time. We do this so that we can compare the light that we shine into a sample and the light that comes out the other side using a detector that works really well at detecting the full range of visible and invisible photons. I use these spectrometers to help test brand new materials that are used to create new types of affordable and next generation solar cells. Now you may have seen solar cells before lined up on the panels of the roofs of houses. A solar cell's goal is to collect all of this abundant light from the sun and convert as much of it as possible into electricity that we can use. But this isn't always easy. Remember how sunlight is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. Well, this means that the best solar cells need to be made out of really special materials to collect not just some, but all of these colors, ideally the ultraviolet, visible and infrared light. I use spectrometers to measure and understand how much light and what colors are being absorbed and converted into electricity uh, by these really fancy new materials. What we really want from a solar cell is to absolutely perfectly convert all of the energy from all the different photons of sunlight into electrons, which make the electricity that we can use. Now, this is something that happens super, super quickly. If you really want to figure out what's going on, you really want to see in detail these pathways that energy takes as it goes from light and transforms into electricity. But this energy can often get lost on the way in different dead ends. What we do is we use a really, really short pulse of light, like a quick burst of sunlight, less than a millionth of a millionth of a second. We shine that onto our new material. We then track this light's path over time. We can see if it transforms into electricity or if it doesn't. Uh, if not, we're then able to figure out where it's getting off track. By using this technique, we get a really good picture of what a new material is able to do if it's able to convert this light into electricity efficiently. We can also see what kind of fancy tricks we can play to get the absolute most out of sunlight. So that's why in my job, I get to shoot rainbows of light onto materials to help design new solar cells to use the abundant energy from the sun to change into electricity that you use every day. Thanks very much for joining me to learn about how I work with color and light with the ARC Center of Excellence in Exoton Science.